Hi everybody. Um, I use all telescoping tops in my beehive and I use the screen vented covers. It just produ it provides more of an airflow here in the hot summers in Florida. And when I go to inspect my hives, when I open the top, I don't know, it's like opening a box of Cracker Jacks. You don't know what you're going to get. Inside that little space between the top and the inner cover, I've found tree frogs, lizards, black widow spiders, and cockroaches. And Florida has got a lot of cockroaches. We've got the German, we've got the American, we've got the Australian, the brown, the smoky brown, and the Florida woods roach. We've got one we affectionately call the palmetto bug that is so big it could probably be the state bird. So anyway, I was not going to use any type of roach baits in my hives, around my hives. I just didn't want to do it. So I literally stumbled on this idea and it works unbelievably well. I was uh, walking down the back porch and we got this big wooden porch. It's got a roof over it. It's perfect habitat unfortunately for roaches. It's got a lot of spaces in between the wood for them to hide. But I had left a some dried dog food out and I mean it was just swarming with roaches so I'm thinking wow they really like that for a bait so I mixed up some that dog food and I put in some boric acid coated it all around put it on a paper plate and uh, set it on the porch of course covered so the animals couldn't get at it and I mean within it wasn't even a few days and I just started seeing the population just plummet so they were coming in, they were feeding on the dog food, uh, eating the boric acid, they were getting coated with it, and as they're cleaning themselves, they're dying off. So I applied that idea out to my bee yard. And, and what I do is I use a piece of old roofing. And this does two things. One, it keeps the weeds away from everything, but it also acts as a vapor barrier so the moisture from the ground can't come up and collect inside the the, and condense inside the bucket. So all you got to do is take a little paper plate, fold the edges down, because we got a few varieties here that uh, don't fly, and I want to make sure every cockroach can get to their dinner plate. So you got the edges folded down so they can get to it. You've got your uh, any boric acid works. Get your dog food, pour it right there in the middle of the plate, make sure it's good and coated, and then take some more and pour it right around the outside so they have to travel through it in order to get to the dog food. After that, and this is really low tech, put your cover on, put your patio block on, and that keeps the raccoons, the possums, the armadillos, skunks from tipping this thing over and getting at the dog food. But anyway, that's uh, I've got three of these set up in my yard, and I'm telling you, the population just drops. So um, if you've got a problem like I do, give this a try and you'll be pleasantly surprised how well it works. Other than that, uh, good luck with your bees and have a good day.